Hello friends. In this video, we are going to learn the method to derive a conclusion out of a single statement. To understand the method in detail, let's have an algebraic equation here. A is equal to b. Now, if I ask you to derive a definite conclusion out of the given equation, what will be your answer? If you say that the conclusion is b is equal to a, then you are absolutely correct. So did you observe what we did here we just interchanged the classes a and b and converted the statement or the equation into a new statement that is b is equal to a the same method we are going to apply here the method is termed as method of conversion and by using this method you can save a lot of your crucial time during exam so let's discuss the different kinds of statements and their conclusions with the help of method of conversion the first type is an a type statement the example of which is all boys are girls now if you try to convert this statement and get a definite conclusion out of it the changes will be like the quantifier all becomes sum and the classes get interchanged like this and the statement will be like some girls are boys let's understand it with the help of a venn diagram here is the circle of boys which are being represented by dots and here is the circle of girls which are represented by lines like this now you can clearly see that while all the dots are being overlapped by the lines but only some lines are overlapped by the dots therefore we can say that the definite conclusion of the statement all boys are girls will be some girls are boys now let's have the next type of statement which is an e type of statement and the example of which is no boys are girls now if we try to convert this sentence or statement and get a conclusion out of it the changes will be like the quantifier no will remain the same and the classes will get interchanged and will get the new statement or the conclusion like no girls are boys let's understand it with the help of a venn diagram here is the circle of boys which are being represented by dots and here is the circle of girls which are being represented by lines now you can clearly see that not a single dot is being overlapped by the lines so it gives a clear inference that no boys are girls and if we take the lines into consideration we can say that not a single line is being overlapped by dots either and therefore the definite conclusion of the statement no boys are girls will be no girls are boys i hope that clears the conversion of an e type statement now let's move to the next type which is i type statement and the example of which will be some boys are girls now if you try to convert it and get a definite conclusion out of it the changes will be like the quantifier sum will remain the same and the classes boys and girls will get interchanged and we'll get the definite conclusion which will be some girls are boys now let's make a venn diagram to understand this here is the circle of boys which are being represented by dots and here is another circle that will be of girls and let's represent girls with lines now you can clearly see that from the circle of boys which are being represented by dots not all but only some dots are being overlapped by lines and that gives a clear inference that some boys are girls but the same can be said about girls as only few lines and not all are being overlapped by dots so if one says that some boys are girls 
a definite conclusion of it will be some girls are boys now let's move to the next type which is o type statement now when it comes to an o type statement you should always keep this thing in your mind that there is no valid conversion of an o type statement and an o type statement leads to possibilities which we are going to study in a separate video tutorial for the moment make a note of the point that if the statement is some boys are not girls which is an example of an o type statement and if a conclusion for this statement is given as some girls are not boys you should not take more than a second to mark this conclusion as wrong because of an o type statement a definite conversion is not possible so the given conclusion is incorrect so friends this is it i hope now onwards you will be able to derive a definite conclusion out of a single statement within seconds now in the next video i am going to give you some statements and i would like you to pick the type or kind of the statement and you will also be required to find a definite conclusion of a particular statement by applying the method of conversion till then keep learning and have a great time